On a call with reporters on this Tuesday morning, Senator Tim Kaine said it is very clear Virginians have been getting poor mail service. In fact, he says he noticed the complaints really ramping up last fall. This is a problem that's been allowed to snowball. In four years of doing this, I started in 2020 and never had had an issue ever before. Because I've been having a hard time getting my mail from the post office. I don't even know if my sister gonna get the gifts that we sent her for Christmas. This is just a sampling of the recent comments and concerns from you, CBS 6 viewers, after dealing with the United States Postal Service. The audit that came out yesterday suggests that there are some positives to the reform, some better equipment, um, some investments that have been made, but it really pointed out significant shortcomings. Senator Tim Kaine responding to an audit of Richmond's USPS Sandston facility, the first in the nation to serve as a regional processing and distribution center to make the mail more efficient. I deal with a lot of federal agencies. I, I take tours of federal facilities all the time. I've never had a harder experience, you know, getting in, getting answers. The audit found that staff and management were not prepared for the launch of the new center in Henrico County, finding multiple problems that had not been addressed before then. The report cites staffing shortages and low employee availability, not enough mail handlers, vehicle operators, and supervisors. High turnover among management also contributed to late missing or slow mail service. Senator Kane, do you have any concerns when it comes to Virginia voters mailing in their ballots, essentially when we come upon election time? I, I do. Uh, the Richmond Registrar has has warned people that they really need to be careful about that. And I think the uh, Richmond Registrar has been saying you should probably not get the ballot by mail and return it by mail. You should try to, if you get it by mail, go ahead and drop it off in person. The audit did list 12 recommendations for the facility, including being more transparent, open about the issues that are going on in the facility. Our colleague Elizabeth Holmes, she also sat in on the Senator's call on this Tuesday. She'll have more about your USPS issues on the CBS 6 News starting at 4 o'clock. In Richmond, I'm Brennan King, CBS 6 News.